What is going on? Zachary Babcock here. Welcome back to the second video on how to launch a top shelf podcast. We're going to talk about software and uploading to Apple, getting your tags all down, metadata, metadata, however you say that, online, and that way you're going to be set up and ready to get to the hosting part, which is going to be covered in the next video. We're going to go through this. We're going to run right through. I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. It's very simple. Once you get it, you're going to see like, oh, wow, it's really not that hard after all. So first and foremost, so I want to go over some quick interview tips and recording tips, whether you're doing a solo or interview. So one of those would be, well, obviously, with the microphone, you want to be close enough up on it so it's going to get good um, volume and it's not sounding like you're far away from the actual microphone. And then you always want to keep your um, same distance and, and face in the same way. So if I'm talking to you like this and then I start talking over here, that's going to make a drastic dr difference when you're recording. You don't want to do that. So make sure you, you stay close up on the mic when you're recording. Another thing people will tend, I did when I first started to do, like try to run through the entire episode with no breaks just like from beginning to end and there'll be a bunch of times where I mess up and that's the thing you don't want to you want to break it down to segments like you create the hook which is the very first part and maybe you have your little intro for your for your podcast which is pre-recorded and we'll get into that in a little bit and then you go into like maybe a guest intro or go straight into your topic if it's a solo uh, episode and you break them up into segments and then you can do multiple takes too until it gets right unless you're interviewing somebody of course that's just going to come naturally and you you also don't don't write out your whole entire um what you're gonna say and, and read it off a piece of paper that's boring it's got to come from the heart it's got to be something you know and just talk about and it could just come so you can write bullet points and that's what i do i write bullet points for my episodes i mean i got bullet points right here just to make sure i'm staying on point and that way i just write one word and i know what it is and then i can go ahead and talk about it um i did this in youtube when i i, I, I was a youtuber before uh podcasting and when i if you look at my older videos they were scripted word for word and they sucked and then I learned this part about making bullet points and now my stuff's more authentic and more real. It's just like, you know, coming from the heart and it's what I truly know and it's not just like I'm trying to read off a script. So don't script your podcast. And lastly, but not least, um, make a hook in the beginning of your podcast. And that's really important. You gotta, so with YouTube, you got, I, I don't know the exact right thing. It's like three to five seconds to like hook them in for them to keep watching and checking you out. You wanna give them a reason to keep watching your video. And podcasting you got a little bit more grace period you got 20 seconds and the key is is you want to get them you want to get your podcast listeners to it's a magical thing that happens once they put it in their pocket they're gonna they're gonna check you out and if they like it and they put you in your pocket they're gonna man 87 percent of people that listen to podcasts either listen to the entire episode or most of it and this is per edison research data um done back in 2019 uh, this this stuff came out February 2019 so that's huge that's a lot of attention you want to get them to put you in your pocket so they're gonna listen to you during their gym workout sesh or during the car sesh and you do that by creating a hook and what you could do that through curiosity you could do it a, a bunch of different ways but you create that hook of today we're gonna talk about something that's really important that you may not even understand or may not even really think that it was important until you look at it from this angle and when you do it's going to make you say wow so make sure you stick tuned stay tuned and uh stick around because we got all that coming up next that was this like off the top of the head put together but you get my point give them a reason to stick around and hook them in and deliver on that promise of course all right so those are my quick tips for uh recording and uh doing uh interviews now we're gonna go straight into using these software so first and foremost we're gonna show you how to use skype it's a free service that you can use it's what i use and what i highly recommend um, and also call recorder that you uh purchase with skype it's 39 dollars, i believe so at the time of this video and uh this is how you're gonna be able to to record people and the reason why I use this software is because when you can record you can also split the track so say I'm interviewing you and uh, you're talking and um, I have a dog barking in my background I didn't want the dog barking in the background I don't want that to go on the show so while you're talking I can take you I could strip your audio separately and delete mine and now there's no dog in the background barking it's really awesome uh, it's what I definitely recommend let's dive into how to use Skype and get you set up uh, so that you can start recording interviews.
All right, so first things first, we're gonna get call recorder, Ecamm call recorder for Skype. If you're a Mac user, this is for Mac users. Um, and, and, it, and it works for PC as well, but we're gonna use Ecamm call recorder. It's a uh, $39.95 one-time lifetime uh, usage of this, and we buy that. Once we have that, then we are good to go. And then you'll wanna install Skype on your Mac. And then we would pull up our Skype, and see how as soon as I pulled it up, it pulled over call recorder over here. And then I would simply um, use this, uh, I would hit record whenever I'm ready to record during an interview after I call somebody. However, first and foremost, let's make sure that our Skype is connected. So once we go to Skype, so we're gonna hit up echo one, two, three, which is how you can test your Skype. So you would put in E C H O one, two, three and echo sound test service you'd click on that now before we test it we're going to go to skype and we're going to go to preferences once we go to preferences we are going to go down to audio and video and we have the microphone and then i have hey what's going on and then i have my speaker set up for the atr usb microphone that's what i would want this set up on if i was recording somebody um, but for the purposes of this video, I want you to be able to hear it as well. So I'm just going to use built in for the speakers. And um, testing's perfect. All right. And then we exit out of that. And then we're going to call the Echo Sound Test Service. And while I'm doing it, I'm going to show you how Call Recorder works. So I want to start recording when the thing starts. So once you get on the phone with whoever you're actually doing the interview with, once you start the interview, make sure you hit the red button. So I'm going to call. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. Yeah, this is just a test to make sure my audio and everything is working out on call recorder and Skype. Yeah, this is just a test to make sure my audio and everything is working out on call recorder and Skype. Perfect. So we hit cancel and then uh, when you stop the call, it automatically stops. You can press stop recording, like say if you were done with the interview and you press stop and you wanted to chat up with, uh, with whoever you were interviewing, you just press stop and then it, it automatically goes into a save folder and now you are good to go. Uh, everything's working on Skype. And now we're going to pull up our call recorder, uh, Ecamm Movie Tools. This comes with the software. You see, I, I have it down in my toolbar. It looks like this. I'm simply going to click on it, and it's going to show us all of our interviews and uh, stuff that we recorded on call recorder. Now, I'm not going to use the Echo one that we just recorded. Actually, I'm going to delete this or move to trash. Um, I'm going to use this as an example because uh, I actually record video, and I can show you the whole thing. So... Uh, when you record video, which I recommend so you can repurpose your podcast content to other uh, social media platforms, you can choose split screen or separate files. So split screen will be both. And um, let's say that we're just trying to get the audio. We would uh, have it selected as MP3. And then we click export. And then we name it whatever, you know, like track one, episode number. Uh, we'll say 003 for the episode number and track three which is both audio and we can uh, export it and that's going to give us both my audio and Daniel's here and then we just hit export and it's going to go to my desktop uh, but however say if um, I wanted to get separate like just Daniel's audio and just my audio and edit that way because there was some background noise in the in the in the interview at one point I can change it from split screen to separate files and then do the same thing, name it, and hit export. And what it's going to do, it's going to send me two files, one of me and one of Daniel. And then I can uh, fix my audio. Like say if I was interviewing Daniel here and um, he was talking and then I had a dog barking in my background by doing separate files um, like, like so and doing the MP3, it would give me both separate ones and then I can delete the dog barking in the background on my end so it didn't mess up Daniel's whatever he was talking about. And then finally, uh, we'll, we'll change this back to uh, split screen. That's with both of them together. And I can, instead of doing MP3, I can click movie and get the video. And I can repurpose this to YouTube, Instagram, or whatever. And that is simply uh, very simple on how to export um, audio files and everything from 
uh, from Ecamm Movie Tools. All right, see it's very simple. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna actually edit a, a real interview that I did uh, that I recorded on Call Recorder. We're gonna move it to GarageBand, we're gonna edit it up, then we're gonna export it, and then we're gonna put in the proper tags and metadata on iTunes, and we're gonna get it all ready to go onto our hosting service, and we're gonna do this rapid fire and see just how simple it really is. So we're gonna go ahead and close this down. So now let's open up GarageBand, and we're gonna open this up, and we're gonna select an empty project, and we're gonna eat, make sure that we have that selected. ATR is good down here. We're good to go. Hit create, and we're gonna change our settings like we did in the first video. Turn those off, and then we're gonna go record a quick hook. This is a hook to draw you in to make sure you listen to the episode and show you what you're gonna get by listening to it. Boom. Then we drag in our uh, our intro that we have. We put well first. We have to create another track for the intro, and then we drag that in here for the intro. Then we're gonna create another track, and this is for interviewing guests. Um, now I'm gonna do a little guest intro over here. What is up, Underdog Nation? This is Zachary Babcock. Welcome back to another episode. You know we're bringing the heat and the fire here to help you get to the next level as an underdog entrepreneur in your business and life so that you can prove those haters wrong and get the respect that you deserve. And today, I got my man that's getting ready to come on and drop some bombs, some key marketing strategies that he's used, and how he calls out all the fake gurus out there. And with that being said, I have my man, Daniel Dome. And I hit stop. And I had that on the wrong track because I had that wrong selected, but it's okay. We drag it down here. Boom. And we'll listen. Take a listen and see how that sounds. My name is Zachary Babcock. What is up, Underdog Nation? This is Zachary Babcock. Welcome back to another ep Boom. Perfect. And then we'd add another track. And this is where uh, if there's no... If there's no Nothing wrong during the interview, uh, no like background noise or nothing that I'd had to edit out. And I'll just pull them both in together. And there's no need to separate the tracks. I'll just grab it from my desktop and drag it in here. And there we go. Whether you have an Daniel Doan. And then that's how we would do that. And then once we were finished putting this up, I'd put like a little final word over here at the end of the uh at the end of the interview. And now I record my final word and say peace out. Make sure you subscribe to the show and leave an honest written review on iTunes. See you soon. Boom. That's in there. And then finally I'd add my final track, which would be my outro, which I'll pull up over here. Uh, outro. And I would line it up how I wanted and make sure it's all good. And then now that everything's all good, I would listen to it obviously and make sure it sounds good but for a purpose video, we're gonna fly through this. Now it's ready to export and then we're gonna upload it to iTunes and um, optimize it for iTunes. So we would come up here in the top right and we'd click on share and we're gonna do export song to disc. What that's gonna do, it's gonna bring up this. We would name the episode, episode two, um, Daniel drops bombs. I really wouldn't name my episode that, but we're just gonna call it that. All right, and then you gotta make sure out of this, MP3 is selected, and then out of quality, go with high quality. All right, you don't need the highest quality because that's gonna take up a lot of uh, memory and space, um, but high quality or medium quality works just fine. Uh, this highest quality is only if you're using instruments and all that, but we're not, we're just podcasting. So high quality works perfect, hit export, now it's going to do its thing, and once it's done, then we will take it to iTunes. All right, now that it's done, we can uh, go ahead and exit out of GarageBand, and we don't want to save that. Now that we exit out of GarageBand, here's our file right here. So what we're going to do, the very next thing we're going to do is really simple. We're going to pull up iTunes, okay, and um, all right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to library. Now, what is this? How, how do we actually set up a folder? Well, we're on music right now, so we're gonna take this little drop down and we're gonna put it on podcasts. And now we're set up. And what you can do in your podcast playlist, um, I already have a playlist created, but you just simply right click over here and just put new playlist, and then you add the name and then you're good. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. So I already have my playlist and this is, has all my episodes in here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that file, this one, and we're gonna drag it in here, doesn't matter where, and then we can put it 
in according where it would be long in an episodic number. And then once we have it in here, then we right click on it and we hit song info. Now song info is gonna bring up this. Very first thing we do, because we got song, artist, album, album artist, like we, a composer, we don't need that because we're not on the right thing. So we go, go to options right up here. Click on that, then it says media kind. We're gonna select that and change that to podcast. Now we're set up, now we go back to details. And voila, now it has title, author, podcast, release date. And uh, what I do is I finish that, so we got, we got it already, um, episode two, Daniel drops bombs, this is gonna be that for example. Then we're gonna put in your name, which because it's gonna be the author, which is gonna be your name or whoever the show host is, and you put that in there. And then the podcast, you name your podcast in here, it'll pull that up in there, boom. And then you put the release date of when it's gonna release, so let's just say this is coming out March 13th, 2019. Boom, that's done. Next, we're gonna add our podcast artwork, and this is what you're gonna have to do for your show. You can get this done on Fiverr. I would pay somebody that's gonna actually do it right, uh, get a nice little logo, or you can go through my buddy Mike Young at themakeovermaster.com. Shout out, that's the official sponsor of my podcast. And it the dimensions, you can make it yourself in Canva with tools like Canva or uh, uh, Photoshop if you're um, you know advanced in that area. Uh, but definitely make sure it looks good and it's clean. And this is going to be a really small image. You see how look at look at my uh, cover art. It's uh, it's very small. It's going to be small on the uh, iPhone. So you want to make sure that it's not a whole bunch of words and everything blocking it up. And um, I'll add my artwork here too to show you. You see, it's not a lot. It's not crowded. And it just uh, simply has the show name and with my name on there. And that's the cover artwork. And now it's added. And then so the description, you can't put a whole lot of characters in here, so I would use this to uh, capitalize on tags and uh, keywords for the search engine optimization on iTunes. So Daniel Doan is the guy's name. I'd obviously want to put that in here because anybody searches Daniel Doan, it's going to show my show there. And then if he has a company that's famous or well-known or uh, a brand, I would mention that in there. And uh, anything else that might help me drive traffic to there. So I would say something. I'd say something simple like Daniel Doan is a seven-figure marketing genius who built a Fortune 500 company. Now, he obviously didn't do that. Daniel, Daniel does a lot of other things, but I just want to use a quick little boom, give you an example. Then we are done, we would hit OK. And now, boom, it's automatically updates. So then what I do is I drag these out of here since it's finished now. And, um, uh, place. and now it's sitting right there. And I keep them all in a folder, which is up here in my podcast episodes folder, where I keep all of my episodes uh, just to have them for, for purpose sake. And then I upload them to Dropbox as well. That way I have files and everything. Um, and that's it. That's it. Simply how you go ahead and make your uh, tags and metadata. That's how you um, edit the videos. And that's it. That's how you simply edit videos. Uh, and that's it, that's how you simply edit podcast episodes, how you record them, how you format them, how you export them, then how you add the right ID3 tags and metadata on iTunes. And now this is ready to go. Next step, we're gonna get our hosting service set up so that we can blow this up. Alrighty, we are this close, my friend, this close. Keep sticking with me, keep riding with me from having you having a top shelf podcast. I'm gonna show you on the next video everything you need to know about hosting. I'm gonna hold your hand and walk you through it. No stress, no overwhelm. Step by step on how to get your hosting services set up so that you have your show set up on your hosting services. Then I'm gonna show you how to upload episodes to your hosting service and uh, get those ready and rocking rock and rolling. Then I'm gonna show you how to get your episodes and your show on these RSS feeds with other directories so that when you upload episodes, the RSS feed comes and automatically pulls from it and puts them into the right directories when you have those scheduled to go out like iTunes, Spotify, Spotify, Google Play, and Stitcher. So get ready. You're getting ready to be a top shelf a rock star podcaster. It's going to change your freaking life, my friend. If you haven't already got the podcast roadmap, it's in the description below. Grab that. There's more nuance and details to everything that we've already discussed, and it's going to get you moving faster. And I'll see you on the next video. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. That is that underdog empowerment. Put them hours in to bring them dollars in. My name is Zachary Bell.